Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Crystal on my Mono Ice Run. And I have to admit, we're probably going to be breaking this place up into two videos. At least, if not three. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be two, though. Um, just because this place is pretty long. Ugh, with all the floors you got to deal with, and then the boss leaders of Team Rocket. It's just time consuming, you know? And I don't like making people sit around watching like, like 30 minutes of Pokemon battles against, you know, Team Rocket members, because for the most part. Well, they're not challenging, just, you know, time-consuming, because you gotta watch the effects go off, and you gotta take out so gosh darn many of them. It's like they just keep on coming. It's like they can't realize, you know, they're so outclassed, they're wasting their time. They're like, let's go! Again! I'm like, can we not, and say we did? <sighs> but I guess I can use this as a chance to level up Fabuki a bit more, so we can set up, you know, learning Ice Beam, hopefully, sometime soon. Though, I'm probably going to have to get all the way over to, like, Blackthorn by the time we actually learn that. <sighs> have to be, like, in our, what, 30s to learn Ice Beam, unfortunately. I'm not sure how high up, it's just, I know it's somewhere up there. Eh, stick to Body Slams for now. I'm sure I could kill with a Surf, too, but, you know, it's just a lot more impressive when Lapras slams something on its body. Like, just BAM! Because it has to be quite a bit, being as big as it is. Uh, no escape, huh? We'll see about that. I'm guessing you're going to go down just as easily as the last guy did, though. Another Zubat? Seriously? Like, can, can you at least give him an underleveled Golbat? At least it'd be worth more experience, and I feel like I wasn't completely wasting my time in this battle. Oh, joy, a critical hit I didn't need. Thanks, game. <sighs> a Grimer, eh? Screw it. I'll let Fabuki kill it, too. Yeah, 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 I get it. You got the whole slime thing going for you. I mean, I swear, Grimer has to be one of the most uninspired Pokemon from the original 151. You know, like, what is it? It's just a blob of garbage, you know, that just is alive. Well, I guess, you know, slime's more accurate, because, you know, there is a garbage Pokemon we got later. <sighs> but I suppose if I talk about slime, and I then uh, talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, just, you know, it wasn't slime, it was ooze, or whatever. <sighs> it's been a while since I've watched that movie. I'll be, I think the first one's better out of the first three live-action Turtles movies. The second one has its moments of dumb fun, you know, with the nin with the ninja rap and all that stuff, which is a definitely a guilty pleasure even today, you know. Despite you know how much of a ripoff RS Vanilla Ice might have been, like I bust out the ninja rap. Sure, it's a dumb song, but like I said, it's a guilty pleasure. No one said it was good, you know, just ironically good. Of course, someone argue that such a term doesn't really exist, but, you know, that's just them. Okay, let's switch. Oh, I didn't really need that, but thanks, I can move boulders now. But, I want Ripjaw up front, because this guy's got Magnemites. So we can go with some Mud Slaps here for the win. Yeah, yeah, confounding traps, I know, like the, um, Voltorbs. I could technically walk across those, I suppose. And they are something you can hunt down if you're doing an electric run and be like, Oh, I got myself a Voltorb! Or get the Electro you can get later on, I suppose. Darn hiccups. I just don't know if you'd really want to pick up Electrode in this gen, to be honest. But the only thing I can think I can do with an Electro is have it blow itself up. Which usually isn't very inspiring. You're like, yeah. The best I can do with this Pokemon is have it be a Suicide Bomber. <sighs> to be fair, I did do that with Graveler a few times when I was doing the Mono Rock Run. Um, mainly because it was one of the best ways to deal with certain threats. Like, oh, the Dragonair with Surf? Well, if I can just barely weather its Surf attack, I can turn around and just be like, self-detonate. And so I did. So, exploding has its uses in Pokemon. It's just... 
do you really want to be in a situation where you have to go one for one on a trade for a win? And the answer is usually not, at least not when you're doing the game casually. I mean, I guess if you're doing um, competitively, you might be willing to make that trade, you know, every now and again to get a greater advantage if you're giving up something, you know, weaker, take out something better. <sighs> but even then, I'd be hesitant to do it. Which is why I don't play competitively, because I'd probably get frustrated, because I'd probably end up losing a lot. Wait, did I remember to hit the button? Okay. Like, I grabbed an item. Did I grab... Did I get the button press? I'm like, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I forget what I'm doing. Like, I see a shiny thing, I'm like, ooh, shiny thing. And then forget what I was actually after. Bad habit. What can I say? I'm just, I'm just drawn to getting loot in RPGs from experience. Sometimes it screws me over. Uh, yeah, I mean, I barely even got hurt. In fact, I think the most damage I took was zero. Oh, wait, I got hit once by that quick attack, yeah. So, maybe like ten? Oh, whatever, we'll leave Sneasel up front. Rotten? <laughs> I might be a pest, but only I'm rotten. That's your guys' job. You're rotten to the core. Oh my gosh, it's a Venonat! Whatever shall I do? There's no way we can deal with this thing's mighty bug powers! Oh, oh wait, I forgot. It's level 18. Never mind. <sighs> Ooh, level 35. Heck, I could probably send out Santa and win this fight with this Venonat. You know what, we'll do that, just because we can, you know? Like, go get him, Santa! I need you to take down this Venonat and teach it who's boss. You know, the sad part is you actually can breed some decent um, flying moves onto <sighs> Delibird here, like Drill Pack, but that's a lot of effort to put in to get a Delibird that's actually somewhat useful, you know? So, we'll just stick with what we got, I guess. Be like, fly! Oh no! What a disable. Crap! You disabled my best move! Well, I can still head bet with the best of them. And now I'm confused. Damn you, Santa, you're disappointing me. Now it's beating itself up. Foresight? What sort of move was that? Man, these Rockmires don't know when they see a ghost or not, I swear. And Santa's gonna get killed. Oh, good, we broke Confusion. <sighs> that was just a sad performance, Santa. You really need to work on your skills. I know, I know, I keep putting off working on Santa. I honestly don't know if I'm ever going to make good use of Santa at any point in the rest of this um, run, to be honest. Um, screw it. We'll put Kiss and Kate Barlow up there. Pretty sure this guy runs a goal bat, so you know, we'll make use of confusion and try to kill it real quick. Yeah, yeah, I know what the password is, I just can't use it yet. Because there's no way to actually manually enter it. You have to go through the events, so I have to learn now that's Hail Giovanni! Most obvious password team I could ever use. <sighs> and why is it Hail Giovanni anyway? I mean, besides the fact it's obvious, is it meant to be like a subtle reference to how Team Rocket's like Nazis or something? Because when I see Team Rocket, I usually don't think Nazis, I think poachers or something, you know? <sighs> they just don't strike me very well as, you know, kind of be able to go around committing genocide. <sighs> Yeah, you lost, all right. Hand over your money. Yeah, yeah, I know, it takes two passwords. You don't have to tell me. I know all these secrets already. Don't you mean I get the passwords? Because you're not going to do jack squat until I get, you know, tag teamed up against. I do like the fact that we can skip the scientist in here, though. 
even if I wasn't weak, why would you give me the password? I know I've had this discussion before, it just always bugs me that she just gives it to you when you beat her. Like, like, why? She's like, my lips are sealed. Ugh. I mean, I guess if they didn't give you the password, the game would be broken, because there'd be no way to win it, but still. It doesn't make any sense from a storytelling perspective, like, oh, I lost a battle, I have to give my enemy secret information that only I hold. Because he beat me, you see. Yeah, yeah, get your gloom out there. Um, confusion. Okay. Probably not gonna let Kiss and Kate Barlow evolve yet, though. After all, I wanna learn, you know, well, let's face it, Psychic. Between Psychic and Ice, Ice Punch, Kiss and Kate Barlow probably just destroy the Elite Four when we get to that point. Oh, yeah. Give me the password, damn you. Yeah, yeah, I know where who's got the other password, thanks. Eh, I'll go around you too. Eh, uh, yeah. You're nuts, but you have guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a password to the boss's room. And again, this makes no sense. But fine, we'll go with it. Team Rocket Grunts are really easy to interrogate. I'm surprised the police have so much problems with them in this universe. Always oh, like, I caught one of them, he told me all your secrets. He's like, damn it, I knew I shouldn't have told Car Carlos all that stuff. I knew he'd come back to haunt me one day. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt. Actually, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Well, whatever. Edging ever closer to level 33 there. Yeah, 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 just tell me the password. So he's in the dirty rats, huh? Mm hmm. That'll be useful at some point, I'm sure. And a protein. Eh, I might use that sooner rather than later. We'll see. Jeez, I feel like I got something in the back of my throat right now. Eh, I might just toss aside. Ice heals aren't very valuable in my experience. Okay. That's far more useful than that ice heal. Like, I can't think of anyone besides, you know, the next gym leader that can potentially freeze you, to be honest. Well, I'm gonna stop here. Next time we can deal with the last grunt on this floor, and then deal with the rocket executives, and call that an episode as well, if we don't deal with electrodes, probably. Till next time, then. See ya.